मैं ईमानदारी से कहता हूं कि मेरी जिंदगी का ये ग्रेटेस्ट एक्सपीरियंस रहा और ये राजू की जिंदगी की ग्रेटेस्ट फिल्म आई मीन इट्स गुड इज इट द बेस्ट फॉर फ्रॉम इट One of the most anticipated Bollywood collaborations is finally here. Ever since the announcement of Shah Rukh Khan's return after the four-year hiatus, Pathan and Jawan were the event films one new SRK was also doing because he wanted to entertain audiences. But the Raju Hirani project was the marriage between content and commerce that really intrigued viewers. The 100% track record of the director and his undeniable ability to connect with Indians globally really excited everyone. Dunkey focuses on a group of friends who have aspirations to move to England, mainly for better career opportunities beyond the confines of their village and the mediocrity that they see around them with the introduction of a soldier named Hardy played by Shah Rukh Khan he promises to take the group to England come what may they undergo IELTS coaching classes so that they can be eligible for visas but nothing seems to work out for the group of misfits they are compelled to embark on the donkey trail an illegal method by which indians cross continents and reach their ultimate destination after some unfortunate circumstances the trials and tribulations they face in preparation and on the journey forms the basic premise of donkey the film sheds light on several themes of friendship family and what we identify as home here's me telling you the good and bad aspects of the film so that you guys can ultimately decide whether to watch donkey in theaters or not the music album you know everyone was debating about the quality of the music album composed by preetam especially the manner in which the music was releasing almost abruptly with little context of how it will be placed in the screenplay but i have to wholeheartedly tell you how beautifully the music has shaped up in contribute to the story of donkey easily becoming the best music album of rajkumar hirani's filmography lutput gaya has the same carefree and fun vibe in the film as we all envisioned transitioning very organically to showcase the dynamic among the friend group and especially srk and tapsi i was in awe of srk dancing in the white kurta in the concluding moments of the song shaking a leg like a young adult truly oh mahi acts like an oasis in the vast landscape of the desert enhanced further by arijit singh's angelic voice it lends a soft touch to the dynamic shared between SRK and Tapsi never coming across as awkward despite their obvious age gap the songs however that stand out in the film are those that you have not seen in the marketing snippets for until the audio jukebox drop nikle the kabhi hum ghar se sung by sonu nigam is essentially the sole and overarching theme of this film it comes in the latter half of the film and in one sequence a character notices all the important chapters of her life flashing right in front of her it's beautifully visualized and staged the best however in my opinion is chalve vatna the lyrics written by varun grover and the vocals by javed ali will truly mesmerize you i can't believe i experienced this song for the first time when i saw the film the song and its lyrics really have the ability to make you shed a tear especially for indians away from their homeland for quite some time i can imagine this to be their favorite from the album i mean come on the lyrics panchi mudke na dekhe ghar wo purane aank bharaye to pankh na udna jaane It's so beautiful. This album will really make you admire Preetam and just the home runs he has been hitting since the past few years. No wonder his face appears in everyone's Spotify Wrapped. He really does deserve all the love. Mixed comedic gags. Raju Hirani is known for his LSE format of filmmaking, laughter, sadness and entertainment. These three elements should be dispersed in every scene otherwise there is no point of the scene. But I would be lying to you if I confess that every comedic gag hits the nail on the coffin in the screenplay. I mean that's next to impossible anyway, right? The sequence in the IELTS coaching center about going to the lavatory generates crickets indeed but a hilarious moment of SRK arriving at the train station as a random character steals his sweets a situation that compels him to stand still is indeed funny the way the characters of balli and baggu are scammed initially during the visa process are hilarious sequences as well a drunk sequence executed by SRK also generated huge laughs but when the film transitions from a carefree lighthearted film with sprinkles of drama to a comedy of errors it borders on just being silly there is a long drawn out dubai sequence to bamboozle officials that neither generates laughs nor does it really engage you to be fully invested in the story the comedy is definitely a hit and a miss in this 
this film starting off on a great note but transitioning to slightly becoming tiresome in the second half the ensemble cast and standouts the most beautiful aspect of dunkey especially as it stars sharukh khan is that the movie gives equal importance to the ensemble cast never does any character ever feel like they're in the fringes or irrelevant each character's motivation and personal dynamic are essential components to the story that never get weighed down by the fact that a star is at the helm of affairs this is where the casting of mukesh chhabra needs to be lauded vikram kochar as baggu is the naive yet carefree part of the group who just wishes to provide for his family so that his mother can stop wearing pants to work being an active part of most of the laughs in the film anil grover really stood out for me as bali his sequences at the barber shop wanting to end the constant silai at home he also performs one of the most dramatic scenes of the film to perfection especially commendable as that scene is shared with sharukh tapsi puts her best foot forward really coming across as the quintessential girl next door in the first half but there aren't really moments that make her stand out for you to say that this will be remembered for the ages the two clearly who will make a lasting impression on you are sharukh khan and vicky kaushal it's absolutely admirable that vicky has the ability to leave such a solid impression on you in the brief time he has in the film not only is his diction the best of the ensemble cast but he has the capability to make you weep and care for the character immediately it's absolutely splendid what a year the man has had sukhi so will truly stay with you sharukh as hardy also has his moments to shine especially breaking your heart in a court sequence where he becomes adamant not to belittle his own country for the sake of asylum actually breaking you a bit from within while i was not totally a fan of sharukh's dialogue delivery through some portions of the film almost having this stiff baritone husky tone while delivering dramatic scenes he does come across as the lovable friend you can trust when the film is seen holistically really coming in full form in the old portions of the film Raju Hirani the good and the bad see for those who love the pitch of Rajkumar Hirani films movies that are entertaining silly sweet and spread an important message then Hirani exactly delivers that Raju Hirani through Dunkey presents a lovable slightly silly sweet yet important film those who were expecting an evolution of storytelling since Munna bhai Dunkey is definitely not that I am here to tell you that the director follows the similar beats of his stories in this film as well. This is the first time that Vidhu Vinod Chopra is not associated with a Rajkumar Hirani directorial. So does that have anything to do with the screenplay slightly going wayward in Dunkey? I wouldn't know. There are gags that sometimes go for far too long. There are emotional moments that hit you right in the gut and the overarching impact of the film is slightly mixed rather than a home run. The film sheds light on an important topic, something that I believe Indians settled abroad will especially connect with, on how borders are especially restrictive for those who dream of greener pastures but do not have the means to even think about it. They are willing to embark on a journey which may lead to their ultimate demise, but they still march on, hoping their bleak present will lead to a brighter tomorrow. While I appreciate the research and effort of Raju Hirani on shedding light on such a topic, it's far from being his best. It's good, but it isn't a home run by any means and that was a video guys write down in the comments below what you thought about dunkey please don't forget to follow me on instagram the handle is right in front of you follow me at jammy pants4 also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching